We were given a name as individuals known as the Hush Hush Boys. And the reason for that is because when, like we went to the cafeteria or the smoking area, and uh, they said, hey, uh, Joe, uh, well, what kind of work do you do? What do you want? And we said, well, it's secret work and we can't tell you anything about it and so forth. So they said, oh, you're a Hush Hush Boy, you know. So that's how we got that name, Hush Hush Boys. Up to the epic mission for which it was designed. Carry a man beyond the fringes of the Earth's atmosphere and return him to the ground. My name is Joseph Sirota. I was born in 1920 in a area which was part of Boston, uh, known as Dorchester. I checked into a uh, program that was offered by Northeastern University. I enjoyed working on engines and uh, I enjoyed uh, fixing them. When I was uh, hired by General Electric Company, it was at uh, the River Works in Lynn, Massachusetts. And uh, the fact was that uh, England was having problems uh, with the Nazis fighting them and that they couldn't do much more on developing. And they uh, asked uh, General Electric Company who had experience with high temperature metals to take over the development of this engine, which was known as the jet engine. We worked on setting up the first American design engine known as the IA. The Whittle engine, when we took apart the compressor, it was like a, a vacuum cleaner compressor. It was a, a, a two-sided impeller that was very inefficient. Our engineers developed what is now known as the axial flow compressor, which you can see on this model is this area in here. It, it's at different stages. And uh, this made a big improvement, and these stages are used in, in practically every jet engine that's been manufactured, even today. And what's surprising me today is uh, how well and how easy it is for them to check all the major parts in the engine uh, through the internet, whereas we, is, we have to spend a month to get the same information. It never dawned on me uh, that it was going to turn over the entire aircraft uh, industry like it did.